Lesson 11.3e, Using Equations to Solve Problems. We can use equations to solve real-world problems. We can write an equation that fits the situation using a variable to represent an unknown quantity. The steps to solve a word problem are, we read the problem carefully, we identify the important data, we formulate a plan to solve it, choose the needed operation, write an equation, we solve it, and we check for reasonableness. Jill works as a dog washer for a groomer. She can usually bathe about four dogs per hour. And yesterday, she was able to bathe 12 dogs in two and five-tenths hours. Did she work at her average rate? We identify the important data, the important information. We know she worked for two and a half hours, or 2.5 hours. She bathed 12 dogs in that 2.5 hours. Her average rate is four per hour. We formulate a plan. We write an equation to find the number of dogs she can expect to wash. And we compare the number of dogs she can expect to wash to the number she actually washed. We're going to let A represent the number of dogs she can expect as an average to wash in two and a half hours if she works at her average rate of four dogs per hour. Our equation is going to be A, her average amount that she would wash in two and a half hours. So we have A divided by two and a half, or 2.5, is equal to four because she can normally do four in one hour. We can solve using multiplication as the inverse operation. We have division here. We multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, 2.5. We can write this over one to be able to multiply straight across, and we multiply this side times 2.5. We get 2.5a over 2.5. We can do a little math on the side. 4 times 2.5 is 10. On this side, we have 2.5 over 2.5. We have the same numerator and denominator. This can cancel out as our 1. That means we have 1a is equal to 10, but we don't write 1 as a coefficient, do we? So we've got a is equal to 10. Jill is expected to wash 10 dogs in 2.5 hours. Well, it's given that she washed 12 dogs in 2.5 hours, and 12 is greater by 2 more than 10, so Jill worked faster than her expected average rate. She was expected to wash 10, but she washed 12, so she worked faster. She washed more dogs. Sam is retyping his essay. He can usually type 55 words per minute. And today, he typed 200 words in three and five tenths minutes, three and a half minutes. Did Sam type an, at his average rate? We put A for his average rate over 3.5, and that's going to equal 55 for the 55 words per minute. Because this is division with the fraction bar here, we can solve with multiplication as the inverse operation. We multiply both sides by the denominator, 3.5. We can write it over 1 to make it easier to multiply straight across. And we multiply this side by 3.5. We can do a little math on the side. And we get 192.5 for this product. And on this side, we have 3.5a over 3.5. We know that is going to create a 1. We have the same numerator and denominator, but we don't write a 1 as a coefficient. We have a is equal to 192.5. Well, it's given that he typed 200 words in 3.5 minutes. And 200 is greater than 192.5, so Sam typed faster than he was expected or his average rate. He typed... 7.5 more words than expected. Jill's average dog washing speed is a unit rate of four dogs in one hour. She can wash normally four dogs in one hour. And we're comparing it to she did 12 dogs in 2.5 hours. Sam's average typing speed is a unit rate of 55 words in one minute. 
We have 55 words in one minute compared to he did 200 words in 3.5 minutes. We're finished with this part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the last part, writing real-world problems, multiplication or division. Have a really nice rest of your day, and I hope you'll join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.